There are two types of burette in the laboratory. One with a blue tab and another with a red tab. The way to hold the tab is slightly different depending on the build of the tab. But for both types of burette, always control the tab using the weaker hand. If you are right-handed, control the tab using your left hand. And if you are left-handed, control the tab using your right hand. The demonstrator is left-handed, so she holds the tab with her right hand. The burette with blue tab consists of one whole part of glass tube. It is easier to control the flow. Open, close. Open, close. If you are right-handed, hold the tab with your left hand. Open, close. Open, close. The burette with red tab on the other hand consists of two parts connected at the tab. So the tab is held differently to avoid the tab from being dislocated during titration. Make sure the burette is in between your middle and index fingers. Place your thumb and middle finger at the center. They will act as fulcrum and do not move. Use your index finger to pull this side up to open the tab and use your ring finger to pull the other side up to close the tab. Open, close, open, close. How to control the flow of the solution? At the beginning of a titration, the flow should be very fast. So open the tab and leave it open. When the color of indicator starts to change, slow down the flow then even slower and slower and slower towards the end of the titration you may need to add one drop at a time so how to add just one drop at a time using your index finger very slowly Open the tab and stop using your ring finger. Swirl the conical flask. The solution is still colorless, so you need to add another drop very slowly and stop. Swirl the conical flask. Still no color change. Add another drop and stop. You may need to repeat this several times until the color of indicator changes.